Hey, Talks there, Luke here, and in today's video, we are finally doing the detail on the exterior of this old Volvo V70. Now, if you've not checked out the interior detail and also the walk around of this car that I got for just £550, I will leave a link in the description below for you to go and check it out. But today, we're tackling the outside because this car is absolutely filthy. It's probably the worst swirled car I've ever seen, or at least ever owned. Maybe that's a bit of a stretch, but probably the worst swirled car I've ever owned and definitely is going to really benefit from a nice going over with a machine polisher. That's a good time to let you know that video has just landed on my other channel, which is about Tiege Hanley Uncomplicated Skincare for Men. So I'll leave a link up here to that video if you want to go and check it out. Before actually getting into the detail, I wanted to tackle something that had been bothering me from the moment I first saw the car. The excessive amount of chrome around the front, specifically the grille. I figured that eliminating some of the chrome would actually make the remaining chrome stand out more. So I sanded the middle part of the grille before masking off the outside and diagonal stripe and then sprayed it with some satin black spray paint. Then it was onto the engine bay. Normally I'd save this for a separate video, but it was actually surprisingly clean under there and really only took me about 20 minutes to do it. I didn't even have to use water, just a vacuum, some old microfibers and an engine degreaser, in this case Enigma by Auto Finesse, although an all-purpose cleaner would have done the job just fine. I finished off by applying some black pearl trim dressing to the plastics to give them a deeper shine. It looks kind of funky in these shots where it's still wet, but when it dries it gives a nice, even matte effect that's completely dry and won't attract or trap any dirt. And by the way, all products used in this video can be found in the description below. And these are commission links, at least most of them are, so I will receive a small kickback if you buy something from there. But like always, that never ever influences my thoughts and feedback on the products that I use in my videos. Then, it was onto the other thing that bothered me the first time I saw the car, the cloudy headlights. It was relatively simple, some 3000 grit sandpaper, cut and compound, and then a polish. I'm not sure if there's any UV protection left on the lamps, so I'll have to see how it goes. If not, I'll have to take it back with some 1200 grit and re-clear coat them.
walls really weren't a priority since I'm going to be removing them soon and cleaning all the inside of the arches out properly before painting the calipers and refurbishing the alloys. So for now, I just wanted to remove the surface break dust to the face. Using an old noodle wash mitt, I tackled the door shut to complete the transition between the exterior and the interior of the car. Onto the pre-wash, I started with Citrus Power from Auto Finesse, before applying an insect remover from Sam's Detailing to the front and finally a coat of Sam's Snow Foam and left it for about 5 minutes. And finally, onto the contact wash where I use some buckets from Sam's, Sam Shampoo and Sam's Wash Mitt.
And there we have it. There is part one of the exterior detail of the Volvo V70. Now, part two will be landing very shortly, where I'll be tackling a decontamination and machine polishing the paint before protecting it with the ceramic coating. So if you want to see that and you've not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon to be alerted of that video as soon as it drops. But until then, thank you all for watching. See you soon and take care.